Hello there and welcome to playing with junk. This time I'm playing with my thermal camera, a heat pipe and some other metallic rods like this. Um, first of all, what is a heat pipe? For example, this is a heat pipe. I painted it white. I will explain later why I did that. Here is just a piece of copper uh, pipe and this is a piece of steel rod. Now heat pipes are used in a PC uh, cooler, CPU coolers in laptops and it's basically only piece of copper pipe which has a rough surface inside as you can see here so I, I cut that open so you can see inside you see that rough side I'm not sure how they uh, manufacture that maybe it's a, an, an etching process or something like that uh, the wall are relatively thin so it's easy to bend this in any shape you like or to destroy it. Um, the principle is relatively simple. There is one or two drops of water inside this tube uh, and then the air is sucked out by a vac vacuum pump and that's all. Uh, water has the property that it boils at very low temperature on, uh, when the, the air that surrounds it is pumped away. So in a, vac in a vacuum water can boil at room temperature or even lower. Um, so if you apply some heat on one end the water inside will boil, steam rises up, goes to the cooler end, maybe I have to show you that here, so if I heat up this side, steam rises or fills the entire tube, it doesn't matter which way you hold it. Some heat pipes are, uh, have to be mounted in the right direction, but with this one it's, uh, it doesn't matter. So heat, uh, steam from the heat source here fills the entire tube and when the steam gets to the colder side it condenses and now this rough side here acts like a towel or uh, a wick and makes the water go down to the hotter area where it is evaporated again and so we have a circle. Um, I want to show you now with help of my uh, th thermal camera how this works and how fast it works. Here I have a glass with hot water and I'm sticking the uh, steel rod inside and you can see that the heat uh, crawls up very slowly. Then here we have the copper pipe. Heat is rising much faster as because copper is a better conductor for heat than steel. And the third rod which comes here is the heat pipe and you can see it heats up evenly and almost uh, instantly. It moves the heat from the water to the other end of the heat pipe or to any point of the heat pipe and you can see it gets really warm and really quick.
There is a second glass with cold water. You can see it from the blue color and I put the heated up heat pipe inside. And you can see how it so how some of the heat goes into the water and the heat pipe cools down almost immediately because the water sucks the heat out literally of this pipe. Now the copper pipe and the steel rod they remain hot. The copper pipe cools down a little bit faster from bottom to top and the steel rod almost has almost no conductivity for heat. You can see how it stays hot while the copper pipe cools down slowly and of course the heat pipe is already cold. And now the entire thing back into the hot water. You can see how the heat pipe heats up. Now we have a, a double image here because the thermal camera picks up a, a thermal image and also a normal visible video image. And if I get too close, these images uh, don't fit exactly. So that's the reason for this ghost image or these shadows you can see here. And now the heat pipe back into the cold water. You can see how the water heats up a little bit around the heat pipe. And the heat pipe is already cooled down like now. It takes a couple of seconds and it's done. And again the other two remain warm for a much longer time. And in case of the steel rod, it seems to have almost no heat conductivity. Here on this cooking pot on my stove you can see boiling water inside. It's 93-94 degrees. But the outside of the pot seems to be cold, so you only measure 39-40 degrees. So what's happening is you, you see here a, new, a mirror image of the surroundings. You don't see the actual temperature of the hot surface itself because it would be 100 degrees more or less. So this is called reflectivity. So all metal objects, especially if they are blank and polished, they reflect everything but you cannot really see the, the temperature of the object itself. This is my tomato sauce. You can see the hot spots where boiling steam comes up from the from the bottom of the cooking pot. And now I when I stir it, you can see how the hot and the cold uh, spots are intermixing. And here comes the spaghetti. Bon appetit. You can see the cold spaghetti in the hot water. They are cooling down the water a little bit, but the water heats up the spaghetti. Here are more hot spots in the sauce. It looks funny when the jumps in the colors uh, are because the camera is switching between different uh, temperature ranges. So if the camera sees a very hot uh, spot it uh, switches down to a to a lower uh, range. Now I have locked the uh, automatic range 
and we have a little bit more stable color pattern it looks now not very uh, f nice here a little bit disgusting the screen color we get more hot spots as the steam bubbles come up here I am dipping my spoon into the boiling water and you can see how it takes up the heat and because steel is a bad conductor for heat it only the tip gets hot and the rest of the spoon stays cool These stains you can see is water that evaporates and cools down the spoon, so it appears to be cold in that places. And that's my radiator. Speaking of radiators, here is what happens when you turn the radiator on. You can see how the hot water uh, gets inside and heats up from one end slowly to the other one at the other end. Here is another example of reflectivity. You can see the reflections on this storage rack here which is a blank metal rack non-painted and it comes from these hot water pipes here they uh, they're like glowing in the dark this is another shot from my workplace you can see windows with aluminium frames they are ice cold then we have here ceiling lights with leds and that's the power supply that lies on the top of the ceiling that's the VLAN hotspot literally a hotspot more LED lights and here we had a little problem there is some water dripping from the ceiling one of the heater pipes had, has a little hole and drips and you can see the hot pipe and the cold spot is where the water is on the insulation which has already cooled down. This is the outside wall of my kitchen. You can see there is not much to see. It's just a white wall. Painted white. That's everything. But have a look how this looks in, uh, uh, on the thermal camera. This is a half timbered wall. Uh, you can see the wooden beams inside the wall. Half timbered means they build a wooden frame and fill the spaces with stones. Uh, and that's how they built some hundred years ago. And that's a half timbered house. It's not my house, not where I live. And this is how it looks when the wooden beams are visible from the outside. Okay. Thanks for watching. Good night.